Hello and welcome to Hating TV. I just got back. I've been on an early morning run. Dropped my trailer off. I'm going down spreading later on and keep this field work uh, sort of up to date and not getting stuck behind like we did last year. Uh, in a second, I'm going to get the pallets off there because I've got another early morning delivery going out tomorrow morning. So get that loaded. At the same time, Charlie and I are going to be bailing hay in the shed. So there's one multitasking job going completely in line with another constantly right now. The hay is in the factory, just get switched on. I'm just going to open the shed up a bit for what I've got to do. And then, tomorrow morning I'm ready. This evening I will be ready. But you'll see me a bit more in a minute. Um, and getting on with stuff. We've got a tether up there waiting for a repair before we can put that away. We have got a Chieftain trailer over there with an airline problem. Uh, waiting to get sorted before we use it. Um, but for now, you guys can go and inspect HRS and see what he's getting up to. I haven't even got very far around this field. I haven't even put my camera on to talk to you guys. And we've had a catastrophe already. So, I was trimming along nicely. Here we go. Get to the corner. Don't know if you can see. By the tree. Right there. There's a massive dip in there now. So basically, what happened was... As you can see, there's no pin. Just a bore in the links. Now, what actually happened... Somehow, the pin snapped off. The pin went through the hole. And all of a sudden, I've got a trimmer up in the air. Now, shit does happen, which we know, but why couldn't it have happened along the nice flat bit of hedge? Nope, it had to happen right in the corner. So, don't really know, understand why the pin's gone, because the pin, before anyone says, well, the pin must not have been in there to begin with, the lynch pin. The pin was there this morning, so I went right through the trimmer again, like I always do, always check the pins. And um, when I grease up, give her a bit of service, and um, the pin was 100% on, so I don't quite get what has happened or how it snapped off. But it has. We're in the situation we're in this, well, we are. But I managed, because if you can imagine, I didn't take any pictures or anything because it was a little bit of a hair raising moment, ladies and gentlemen. So as you can imagine, the back of the trimmer was pretty much all the way up in the air. Luckily, I've done no damage to the top link, I've no done no damage to the PTO. So what I actually managed to do was actually walk the trimmer around, where you can see the divots in the ground there. So I walked the trimmer around, got the trimmer in this position here, actually swung it all around using the, luckily it's got the telescopic arm, which helped massively. So you can see the telescopic arm is out. So I managed to just walk it around, use the telescopic arm, and basically we're now into place. Boss man's gone to get a big, bigger pin for a minute, because the bottom of the, you can see, <sighs> if you can see there it is all bent but we're going to put a bigger pin in for now just to get us going and when i'm going to finish this field go back to the workshop and put a little bit of heat on it bend it all straight do it all properly but need to get this trimmer on before we can even move it it's got to go on get on the link so i can take it on the road but i just want to finish this field and then go back to the farm and fix it properly so we are back trimming and as you'll see we're going to have my haircut sexy adam that's what I am? Well, I should be so lucky, eh? But anyway, Pastor with the trimmer side to fall off. As it's obvious, all back on. And it was a pain in the ass, because it's about two hours to put back together. Which was a ball ache. Didn't actually film it, to be quite honest, because it was an absolute nightmare. And it was too much running around, like one in Italian, like one. Me trying to run around get tools and stuff like that and the blah -de blah -de blah but anyway it's on the main thing is on and I'm back trimming so I'm trimming all basically all the ground that we can't get to when it's wet or it's too steep when it's wet so that's what we're doing they do give rain next week do you really Reg gotta make that noise when I'm filming 
every time. Anyway, I have to ignore Reg. He's on one. There's been loads of questions. Why are we not trimming in the T6? And why have we put the trimmer on the T7? That's a very good question. Because we've said all along, anyway, that we don't like putting trimmers on brand new tractors. We don't, never have done on a farm. But this year, it made sense to, purely because, a few reasons. That T6 did its job last year. It trimmed everything on the farm. Yes, the head was a little bit too big for the tractor, but it was doable. It wasn't like, you know, it was really dangerous. You just had to think where to put the tractor. Like anything, you know, I've got to think where to put this tractor. So that's, you know, that's fine. But it didn't really make sense for a 200 odd horsepower tractor to be sat around doing nothing through winter. Well, not nothing. We um, we rent out dung traders' horse yards, so we go and pick them up and bring them back to the farm tip. Um, it seems a bit daft, really, doesn't it, with a 200 horsepower tractor doing that sort of job, especially our horse yards are tight at the best of times. The decision was made that we use the T6 for those sorts of jobs, and we'll put the head trimmer on this tractor. And I've been head trimming now for the last few days properly. Well, the last couple of days, should I say. And it does the job. It is a fantastic tractor, nice and heavy, and it handles the trimmer like it should really, really well. Which, well, which is the aim of the game, really, because the T6, like I said, the T6 was fine. It did the job, but you just had to be careful on steep ground. Well, I've just been on really steep ground now. You only even got to really think about it, like where you are, if that makes sense. But, yeah, really happy with it. I'll, I'll do a proper, run down on the T7 on the gearboxes and you know and all that kind of stuff if people want to see that so I'm gonna carry on trimming we'll try to let's like pick up some stones down there um carry on trimming get some shots and we'll speak that's finished in there so one job done trade is loaded now jump on load for us so first load's going out we're not putting a super heavy coat we're done down because obviously we've got mulch grass everywhere but you know it's a nice covering can always come back again um, these are a couple of our more what we call arable type fields as these are the ones we have plowed up in the past so they're a little bit hungrier than our permanent pastures and like old old lays but after being top, it looks better. The birds are still attacking a bit, but not as much as they were. So it's going to be interesting how everything heals. Um, after everything's done, and this is like next week, I think we've got rain. So this is going to get washed in. Some of these fields are going to get rolled. So um, as we said with our roll before, we can put more pressure on the hydraulic ramp and add pressure to the floor. So we will do that round some of the fields and see if we can kill anything that else might be still in the ground. Because these bugs are basically in the top three, four inches. We aren't finding much deeper than that. Um, so any pressure I'm guessing might not be the nicest thing for them. Last load. It's a bit bumpy around here. Where I've just been. Ooh. Another field. And there is a the rabbit. Open the back door. Down a low gear. Manual. PTO. Revs up. There we go. Tell you what, it has been a nice night tonight for doing this. The road's been quiet. Which, uh, Huge bonus. Don't 
know about you guys, down here we've got housing estates being put up left, right, centre, which means they keep shutting roads for all sorts of random reasons. And putting in roundabouts, we've got roundabouts going in for fun. So I'm spreading about 6.5 miles an hour. Get a fairly reasonable coat. As you saw earlier on, but finely chipped. So four speed is going slower to allow meters to really get a good chip. The faster the four speed, the more it like bugs out.